In this video we will talk about how you can make your first call using Kali Auto Dialer app if you are on Kali Personal Subscription. To start you will need to download the app from Android Play Store or iOS App Store. Once downloaded you can log into the app with the username and password that you use to create an account on the web panel. For this video we are configuring the Kali Android app. As you log in, the app will prompt you for required permissions to work correctly. Click on Proceed. As you come to next step, this is where you need to allow the permissions. Please allow all permissions by clicking on respective button. All the three permissions are mandatory for the Kali app to function on your Android phone. Permission 1 Allow Kali to access your phone call logs. Permission 2 Allow Kali to make and manage the phone calls. Permission 3 Allow Kali to show a pop over other apps. Click on Continue. It will take you to Settings section in your Android phone where you can allow pop over permission for the Kali app. Once all the permissions are approved, click on Get Started New. Once the permissions are done, you are brought to the, the Getting Started page that tells about how you can set up Kali web panel. Click on Skip and go to Dashboard. As you are on the dashboard, and we believe you have already uploaded your calling list in the web panel, you can now start calling. Click on the red button. Click on Continue. You can see the lists you have uploaded, click on the list you want to auto-dial. As the list is loaded successfully, on your Android phone, you can now start auto-dialing by clicking on Start Calling button. Kali offers you different calling modes to choose from when making calls from an Android mobile phone. Standard mode, uninterrupted mode, app mode, WHTA's app mode. As you are on Kali Personal you only have access to the standard mode. As the call is triggered you can see the details of the number being called. At this screen you can take three actions. You can cancel the call from being dialed. You can skip this number and go to the next number in the list or if you want you can load another list. The respective phone number is called from the mobile SIM card. As the call finishes, Kali offers you a post-call screen to update your call feedback. You can update call dispositions, feedbacks, send SMS, send email, send WhatsApp, mark this numbers as a DND, &D, schedule the call for the future date and update call notes. As a Kali personal user, you can reschedule the call and update call notes. Once filled, you can click on the next call button to call next number in the list. Kali will dial the next number in the list. In case you want to pause auto-dialing, you can click on cancel and the list will be paused. You can see the dashboard for the calls done, pending calls and scheduled calls.